Happy holidays, shop fam, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. We out here working for y'all, man. Trying to give y'all the best season there is, man. Y'all already know. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. And I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love the shy, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're going to be talking about the shy season six, and we're going to be talking about part two. This is the early predictions for part two of the shy season six. And we know the first half of the show, it was fire. Lena Waif, she listened to the fans and she said, you know what? I'm going to give you a more darker and grittier version of the show. And that's exactly what we got. And now we all can't wait. We can't wait to see what's next. And we want to know what's going to happen. And more importantly, we want to know when will the show air? Now, of course, they already put up postings about the show talking about it's coming back in 2024 um, they've already start filming part two i believe they started back in december so filming is going on that's a good thing a lot of the cast are putting up pictures telling the people that they're back to work so once again that's a good thing but the people want to know what date is it we want to know when will the show be returning i mean yes 2024 but when in 2024 is the question right now this is just my prediction i don't know when they're going to return but usually when i make these predictions i like to go off what they gave us in the past now we have to remember the shy season six it aired a little bit different because of the strike was going on and if it wasn't for that part two of the show in my opinion would have already been done filming, right? Now we know part one and aired on August 4th, but the prior seasons before that, usually we get the shy late spring, early summer. So if we're going off, you know, how they usually air out the show, like that spring, summertime, I believe that's exactly what they're going to be aiming for this time around. I mean, they're already filming. And on top of that, it's not like they got to film 10 episodes. They only had eight more episodes left. Remember, The Shy Season 6 is 16 episodes. We already saw Part 1, and now it's time for us to see Part 2. But in my prediction, I really believe we want to see like a spring, summer type of an airing um, anywhere between maybe April, May, or June. That's just my prediction. I don't know if it's going to be right, but I do know when The Shy, when they start filming, they put in work. They don't play around. They like to get it done. So... I'm going off that in the simple fact that they know the strike kind of, you know, messed up filming. So they're going to be eager to put in that work, eager to make sure that we get in this content. And you already know, once the shies like, you know, social media pages start posting stuff, you know, they're about to drop something very, very soon. So I believe everything is good. We just got to wait a tad bit longer for them to finish filming the rest of the show. And to be honest with you guys, I really hope after they film the rest of season six, I hope they come right back and start season seven, start filming. That way they can be on track to what they was probably already going to give us in the first place. But we're going to go over those early predictions for part two of the show. We know part one was crazy, man. We know your boy Otis Perry, he was turning up. We know what happened to Pastor Stanley Jackson. He got dropped off. And we also know that Kevin, he said, you know what? It's time for me to start a new journey. And he went off to California. We know he is actually off the show. And, you know, we wish him nothing but the best. But I hope once this show, you know, ends for good, I really do hope Kevin comes back just to give us that one last appearance um, for the series finale. But we shall see. Now, let's talk about it, man. Your boy Nuck, if you buck in Duda. They got shot at, but of course, they got shot at by probably one of the most trashiest shooters in the shy history. These guys is flat out trash. And we talking about Emmett and of course, Rob. I mean, Rob, he had the upper hand, missed every shot, didn't land nothing. And then he ended up getting popped his damn self. Now, Emmett, he was driving, so I ain't going to be too hard on him. But come on, Rob. I guess what your boy Victor said, being tall don't make you a gangster because this man can't shoot for nothing. On top of that, we know he's in the hospital right now. My early predictions for his character in part two is this. He's going to wake up. He's going to realize that, man, I am trash at shooting. And maybe I probably should have never did this whole game plan with Emmett in the first place. But we know his mom, Alicia, she was all over his back 
telling him he needed to take out Duda because we know what happened to Q last season. So Rob did not execute the game plan. I believe in part two, Alicia, we're going to see her try to execute the game plan as far as taking out Duda. Now we know Tiffany, she was at the hospital as well and she's pissed off. And she told, you know, Alicia that she knows about the game plan that, you know, Rob was supposed to execute. And of course, Alicia played it off like she didn't know anything. And we know she kicked Tiff up out the hospital. I predict that it will continue to be issues with Tiffany and Alicia in part two. Tiffany, watch yourself. You do not want to get hit with a stray being a part of all of this. This girl is dangerous. I do believe what Rob said that Alicia, she's going to make Duda look like a saint. We haven't really seen too much of it yet. We've seen her you know, orchestrating a game plan to get rid of him. But I'm going to tell you right now, in part two, expect to see Alicia in you know, her true form. And of course, we know what she was doing at the end of part one. She was setting up a game plan to get rid of Duda by recruiting Zay, by getting close to Bianca. I'm telling you right now, Duda's downfall will come from the inside. He's probably not going to even see it coming. And we're going to find out if Duda can survive somehow, some way, once again, or will this finally be it for his character? I want you guys to leave it down below. But your boy Duda, man, he's been surviving, you know, getting shot at, being shot, and it seems like he cannot be, you know, stopped, at least as of right now. Now, let's talk about your boy Rashad. Damn. And it wasn't looking too good for him at the end of part one. We know he slipped up by sending Deja the wrong text, and of course, she kicked him up out of there, y'all. He's up out of there. Maybe he can go with Tierra and kick it and hope and pray that he can clap those cheeks one last time. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. In my prediction, I believe it's going to get more worse for him than better. He's going to struggle, but eventually, I believe at the end of the season, maybe he bounces back. But as of right now, man, and it looking too good for your boy Rashad, man. But your boy Jason Reaver, he's doing a great job playing this role. And I cannot wait to see what's next for his character. Now... Predictions for your boy Bakari. Now we know he was going through it in part one, especially when Pastor Sterling Jackson got taken out. He took that very hard. He also saw the ghost of Kugi, and I believe that's going to help him finally, you know, turn his life over. Hopefully he can start putting things together and do right. And I believe that's exactly what he's going to try to do. I just hope he does not get dragged back into the life of crime. And we know his sister, Brittany, she's in the story right now and she's kicking it with Gemma. Now, in my prediction, I believe this is a bad move. It's going to backfire on her. Once she realizes that she made a mistake, I can see her running back to Jake talking about, I messed up. Can you help me? Can you take me back or whatever? Look, I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't going to end well for Gemma. That's what I do know. And I really hope Jake does not get dragged into any of her mess because we know Brittany, she is getting some illegal money. And I hope in part two, we get to see exactly how she's getting that illegal money. Now, I believe that Papa will continue to grieve after losing his father. I also believe that him and Kenya, maybe they will, you know, rekindle their relationship. We know Papa, he was basically living the way that his father wanted him to live after he passed. But we also know Jake told him that he needs to live for himself, do things the way he wants to do them, not, you know, how your father wanted you to do them just because he's not here anymore. So we're going to see Papa struggle with that. And I believe by the end of part two, Papa will eventually go back to his you know, normal ways. I believe he still will respect his pop's wishes. But going back to how he wants to do things is probably the best because you don't want to regret anything. So we're going to see what Papa is going to be on in part two. Now, we know at the end of part one, Emmett and Rob, they screwed up trying to take out Duda. We also know that Victor was very upset that this happened and Rob ended up getting shot. So in part two, I can see, you know, Victor trying to execute the game plan. We saw him kind of storm off at the end of part one in all black after having that conversation with Fatima. He's like, screw it. I'm still going to go out here and I'm going to complete the task because they didn't know what they was doing. I believe something will happen. I don't believe Victor is going to be able to take out Duda, especially in that first episode. He's just very upset. And I think once things settle down, someone else will go in and try to complete the job. But I don't think it's going to be Victor, even though he stormed off. I told you guys, I believe it's going to come from the inside with Zay, of course, Bianca and Alicia setting up the whole strategy to get Duda up out of here. The question is, will Duda survive somehow, some way once again? Now, I will say this, Emmett, you better watch yourself because you were supposed to meet up with Duda. And then all of a sudden he starts you know, to get shot at. He is going to think that you had something to do with it. 
especially after all the encounters that y'all had, you know, this season. I just believe, you know, that's going to run through his head like, man, I know this dude did not try to set me up. So expect it to be a lot of tension in the air between the two. And I want to know how Emmett is going to get out of this. I just hope he does not mess up and somebody else in his family gets hurt. We're talking about Keisha and we're talking about his pops, the people that told him to stay away from Duda. So don't be surprised if they end up catching the straight as well. But we're going to find out soon enough. Now, I want you guys to leave your theories, predictions, leave it all down below. Let me know your early predictions for the Shy Season 6 Part 2. I can't wait. I told y'all my prediction for the show to, you know, come back is maybe spring, summer, late spring or summer, whatever. Just basically what they normally give us when they air the Shy, especially since the strike is over. We should be good. Filming has already started and I cannot wait to see what's next. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love all the support, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.